Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, welcome to another exciting edition of Home Field Advantage. Um, okay, so my last video was kind of monotone and unexciting. Um, I was just dead tired. Uh, it's not that I wasn't excited. Um, I just hadn't slept. I'd only slept like an hour in the past two days. So um, I was going to redo it. But I didn't really see a point because, uh, you know, people already watched it and people already commented. So if I remade it and deleted it, I'd lose those comments. And there wasn't really any point. Um, but anyway, moving on. I actually have a few things on my mind today that I'd like to just get out and open. Um, the first, uh, <laughs> there's a new, it's a good, new commercial for the Guitar Hero Metallica. And it has four of the greatest college coaches. Um, they're basically making fun of the, you know, you had like Michael Phelps, Tony Hawk, Alex Rodriguez, and Kobe Bryant uh, doing the risky business skit uh, when they were trying to advertise the Guitar Hero World Tour. Well, they have <laughs> they have Rick Pitino. Uh, uh, Coach K, uh, Roy Williams, and uh, my <laughs> Bob Knight um, doing basically the same thing, um, same outfits and everything. Um, I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna up, I'm gonna put it on this video at the very end, so just stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, that basically made my day. Um, just Bob Knight is just everything he does is hilarious. I mean, it's not supposed to be, but it is. Uh, I'm sure you guys notice this now, but for some reason, my picture looks really weird on the webcam. Um, I just bought my first webcam, um, which is the one I'm using to record this. It's a creative, let's see. Creative live cam video I am ultra. Um, it's got a 1.3 megapixel sensor, um, 30 frames per second. Takes 5 megapixel photos. Um, and up until now, it's they looked all right, but for some reason, I guess it made it the lighting. Uh, it looks kind of grainy, um, but my birthday's coming up, so I've been looking for a camcorder, a really good camcorder, and I think I found the one I'd really like to get. Um, it's a Kodak ZI6. Um, it's a high-definition camera. It's one of those, it's kind of like the Flip, but it looks more like a Blackberry, so I can sneak it into Rocket's game and Astro's games and whatever else I need to do. You know, it's just point-and-shoot, um, once I get that, I'll probably return. The, I have a 30 day limit on this. It's a create, you know, the creative life can take it back to Best Buy, get my money back. Um, maybe. I haven't decided. And it's still, I mean, it's still good to have a webcam. I talk to my, you know, my family that doesn't, you know, doesn't live in Houston, um, like my dad and my nieces and nephews. Um, and I can talk to you guys when that time comes. Um, I'm still working on trying to get, I already have a, a blog. Um, I'm working on getting a Twitter, I guess, cause that's the cool thing. Um, and then I'm going to try to get a live web, sh live webcam show in the future. Oh, you know, so if there actually is anybody actually watching, um, continuously, I can, you know, go, I can have one-on-one -on -one talks with them and get ideas from them. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for this weekend. Um, I haven't been excited for a Final Four in a long time. Um, it's, this is going to be a good weekend for, for the Final Four. Um, Michigan State 
UConn game that, like I said it before and I'll say it again, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a, close, a lot closer than a lot of people think. Everyone, a lot of people were thinking, you know, UConn's going to blow Michigan State away. I just, I don't see that happening. Uh, Michigan State has a great team this year. They, they almost always have great teams. I think last year was like the first time they didn't have a decent team in the past couple of years. You know, the last year they got knocked out in like the second round. Uh, the year before that, I think, I'm pretty sure they, were, yeah, they were in the final four. Um, if I'm not mistaken, which doesn't even worry for it, I could be. I would check my information, but I'm just too lazy at this at this point of the night. Um, on the other side, UNC and Villanova. Villanova, it, that's it's gonna be a blowout. Um, so I'm not too excited about that. But UNC, UNC just dominated OU. That was that was a ridiculous game. That was ridiculous. Um, I just don't. I really don't see how Blake Griffin's gonna, you know, go that early. You know, everyone's saying, you know, he's gonna go throw the first pick. I just, I don't know. To me, Tyler Hansborough would make a better NBA player. I mean, that's what usually what happens anyway. You know, you take someone in the in the. You know, the first overall pick, they don't do anything with their career. You take someone in, like, the second round or later, they have a career in sports. Um, one example is the Saints drafted Marquise Colston two years ago um, out of Hofstra in the seventh round. Uh, he, he started that year as a tight end. Um, but they ended up moving into wide receiver. Now he's the number one wide receiver. Like he was their number one wide receiver that year, and they had, you know, they had Joe Horn. Um, but yeah, seventh round pick, and he's one of the, you know, he's one of the best wide receivers in the league, in the NFL. So, um, the you know discussion, question, topic, um, a home field advantage ever. Um, it's kind of a. It's not a very strong one, but like I said, the better, more subscribers, the better um, the topics. What is your favorite sports anthem or your favorite sports song that's, you know, play the games or like play on commercials or, you know, like, you know, some people like the Super Bowl Shuffle yeah, by the Chicago we Bears. Here, look um, we just come I know the, the New Jersey Nets, they play uh, Bring Em Out by T.I. Bring Em Out, Bring Em Out, Bring Em Out, um, Bring Em Out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your uh, mouth. My what personal it? favorite song is the The Boys Are Back in Town by Thin Lizzy. I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. And I'm on the there was like a, there was a version with, uh, of that song that, that was remixed with clips from the Dallas Cowboys when they won the Super Bowl. Um, so and that, that song is like, that's one of my favorite, you know, sports songs. There was also another song, I know they played it like the Rockets games, like in the 90s, all the time. But I can't remember, I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Um, if I do remember it, I'll let you guys know. But so home field advantages, first topic of discussion is what is your favorite sports anthem or song? Um, leave a uh, comment or a video response and uh, I'll read them and watch them. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Um, I'll be back in the next couple days to give you some more sports knowledge for those that are fanatically impaired. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Later. Just take those old records on. What are you doing? We're playing the Guitar Hero. Now there's Guitar Hero Metallica. So? So it means you're going to have to put on some pants. Who are you calling Pop? 
first to get a lot of button. 